One earth point was not connecting. So, your car, let's try it. Hello, welcome back to Auto Alex and welcome to a very good friend of mine. This is Scott Ratarossa, the home of shit Ferraris. Absolutely. Am yeah. I right? We're in good hands. We are in very, very good hands. Uh, behind me is uh, is my shit, I can't believe I'm saying it. Ferrari, for which I paid the equivalent of about twenty-four and a half thousand pounds for. Not bad. So last week you will remember I uh, I purchased this from Harley slash Harley's dad. And then we're into the unknown. We're actually filming this a couple of days after that release of that video. So we don't know what the name of this car is yet. What was the name that you were after? Stavros. Stavros, which is a very strong Italian, sorry, Greek, Greek. name. I like Stavros. Do you like Stavros? Really cool, yeah. Okay. Uh, right, so I gave Scott a call because you have one, two, you've got many Ferraris. I think I've got eight at the moment. And All shitters. All shitters, yeah, fantastic, yeah. yeah. And you said to me when we had that phone conversation that you can build these in your sleep. Can build them, not about fixing them when they're like this, yeah? Okay, okay. We'll, On a we'll scale see. of one to 10, how bad is this from the ones that you've seen over the years? Okay, so I've worked on quite a few of these, a few YouTubers ones of these as well, yeah, and yeah. I thought those were bad. Mm -hmm. This one totally takes the cake. Really? Okay. Totally takes the cake. Yeah. So is this the biggest Ferrari 360 shitbox that you've seen? Yeah. Which goes to prove that yeah. I'm still king of the shitbox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you serious? Anyway, Scott, we are here, obviously. I want you to have a proper walk around. And by the end of this video, fingers crossed, touch wood, <laughs> <laughs> we are going to start this car and not run it on only two cylinders. Yeah. If we can get three or four cylinders, I'll be very, very happy. We're just going to need that miracle. Yeah, we did open the fuel filler cap and it stinks. Yeah. And I mean stinks of varnish. So that fuel has been in there for a long time. So I've got a fresh can of uh, super unleaded. We'll chuck it in, we'll put some oil in, we'll have a quick inspection of the belts again, and then we'll just hit and hope. If the engine blows up, yeah. I'm calling it M57 diesel, swap this going in there. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so, Scott, if you would please, let's have a walk around my Ferrari. Your Ferrari, mate. Well, this, yeah, it's yellow, right? So, yes. it's great when I tell you you've bought a lemon because it's the right color. Very okay? good, yes. yes. Actually, though, bodywork wise, yeah. Pretty damn decent. It's yeah. not bad. It, it's had a respray, obviously. There's some panels that are still very, very good. There's mm -hmm. some that have got a little bit of bubbling, but nothing concerning at all on yeah. it. The problem with these kind of cars, everything's expensive. Everything. <sighs> but we've got all the major components. Yep. You've got a load more little bits as well, and little bits are all expensive on this car. There are certain little kind of cheat codes on, oh, on, okay, on really? Ferraris, okay, yeah? Okay. For example, they're just Bosch wipers, okay? Fantastic. So you buy those from Ferrari, you get them in a Ferrari box, they cost four or five times what you could buy them, yes. and they're in a Bosch box, yeah. okay? So also, another cheat code that I know, because of Ant from Autosportivo, these indicator lights, do you know where they come from? They are from a Fiat, yeah. Fiat Coupe. Yeah. yeah. Same goes for the badge that you've got missing down here, the Pinaforina badge. Oh, is really? also from a Fiat Coupe. I didn't yeah. even know I had a missing yeah, badge. Yeah, you've got a missing badge <laughs> on both sides there. Yeah. So externally, it's not too bad, yeah? You've got all the major components. Yeah. Should we have a look inside? All right. But before that, and with my cheap Ferrari looking like it's going to bring even more complication to my life, now's a great time to tell you about this week's paid partner, better help. Now, if you're anything like me, you might be guilty of bottling up problems instead of talking them through with friends and family. Now, I've been guilty of exactly that when I started the channel just over two years ago and I was completely overwhelmed with how quickly it grew. The pressure I put on myself genuinely nearly broke me and at the time, my mental health wasn't particularly healthy. And if mental health is something you also struggle with, then BetterHelp could be perfect for you. Because they have more than a thousand therapists who are trained to listen and give you completely unbiased advice. And take it from me, using them recently has helped declutter my head and the advice I've been given means that I don't dwell on things out of my control, which again, I've been guilty of in the past. What's more, the consultations you have can be done on either your phone or laptop, via calls, messages or video calls, meaning the conversations you have 
are always on your terms. All you need to do is go to the BetterHelp website linked below, answer a few questions, and you'll usually be paired to a therapist within 48 hours. So let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist and all from the comfort of your own home. What's more, you'll get a discount on your first month using my code AUTOALEX. Right then, what do you say? We have a proper look inside. It's a bit of a mess oh, in here, so, right? So, sorry, Rory. There, there you go. There <laughs> so you go. the nice thing I like about this car, right, Actually, is... Actually, that, that, that can just, that oh, can yeah, just go. Yeah, keep that. That's, that's about 400 oh, quid. Oh, shit. Is yeah. it? Oh, yeah. shit. So the cool thing about this is that it is a coupe. It's not a spider. Yeah. Because when they're a spider, you've got a ton load more problems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the only issue you've got with a coupe is exactly this. The, okay. yeah, the headlining comes down. There's a few trim pieces missing. We have carpets. You've we got have the carpets. door cards there in the other unit. Yeah, the thing that concerns me on this car is Don't say that. there is a lot of things that have been disconnected. Loads yeah. of connectors around this car. So yeah. this is this is where we you know put on our inspector clothes and start trying to figure out why it's all disconnected. Because this car was a, a crashed car. So you yeah. kind of wonder why is it like this? Though? It's like it's been crashed and then Jeremy Clarkson himself. Because this used to belong to Jeremy Clarkson. It was his car, his daily driver. No, he drove it once. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, you've got obviously the, the flappy paddle gearbox uh, and this car being a 99, one of the things that um, really it suffers with is, is, is the F1 gearbox. It's, Are they not great? They can be really pretty decent, um, but there is a, behind this seat here, there's a little ECU called the, um, the F1 TCU mm -hmm. and they made, I think, six or seven versions of it that you will have the very first version on it, which is, pretty pants. Okay. It, it's it's complete. You, like stupid things like this. This is like a thousand pound for that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So question, Scott. Yeah. If this is like beyond repair, engines toast, whatever. Yeah. Would it make more sense for me to part this out versus selling it as a complete unit? Could I make good money? 100%. Pretty much every single Ferrari is worth way more as a sum of parts. Yeah. yeah? So a thousand pound there. This is 800 quid for a steering wheel, yeah. Okay. Seats? Uh, seats, 1,000 pound, easy, all day long, 1,500 quid. These are leather and they're electric as well. You can see the electric yeah. bits down there. Everything, like that's best part of 1,000 pound. Engine, like 10 grand. You know, working. Yeah. Well, what working you on? advertise it as on, working. On two cylinders? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Can I sell it by you? <laughs> Gearbox, eight grand, something like that. <laughs> so yeah, this is the interesting part right now. Uh, yeah. There's quite a few bits missing. You said that this, this was crash damaged and they, they changed all the frame. Yes. Um, most of it's not bolted down. Your gearbox here should be dead center and it's kind of quite a bit over to the left. So, um, how far off are we? Uh, we, we need a big crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> so the engine itself, as we know, 3.6 liter V8 revs to eight and a half thousand RPM. 400 horsepower yeah. and working, this thing should do 180 miles an hour. It's a very good, fun car. That's, is it, that's is it a reliable? very good engine. If they're looked after, yeah, and this one has been, so it you're has been. all right. It's super you're low safe, mileage. Mate. It's a safe bet. This looked one. after by Clarkson personally. Yeah. yeah. Shall we go to the next, next door Let's and have, have a, look. a look at the bits we've got? Yeah. And there are a few other bits, but these are the bits that we could fit in the car. Okay. Should we do that? Yeah. Right, so behind these doors, should be nicely laid out, nice. all of the bits that came with it. Very, very good. This is great to see. Is it? Really good, oh. really, really good. So Excellent. it was a little bit concerning there. There was so much missing on the car. Yep. It's little bits, but it all adds up to a lot of money. And this pretty much looks like you've got all the missing bits. Good. Your engine panels, you've got all your heat shielding for your fuel tanks, all your arches over there. Yep. This panel here, well, if you look under the car, you've got a load of the air conditioning pipes hanging down. Yes. This holds it in place. Oh, fantastic. That's okay. cool. Something that I noticed that is ultra, ultra rare is this. So this is your front trunk panel. And the other thing I saw in your car that we didn't mention was you've got the, um, the tire inflator foam, yes. right? Yes, yes. Oh, it's very, very rare. This is how it straps in. But the interesting thing about this is these things normally rot badly, right? And they, you can't get them. But these are like pristine, these are like new. They might be gone by the time I've left. Right, okay. So we've got carpets. This is your interior tunnel, which is great. Side panels there, leather. Yeah. I think that was Seat an belt, op optional extra. Seat belt, very expensive as well. This is your lower bit for your uh, steering column. And then door cards and the aluminium bits. Mm. And door handles as well. 
very expensive that go wrong all the time. Okay, so if you were to see all of this on eBay, on an eBay listing, yeah. roughly speaking, roughly, roughly, within the nearest 500 quid, yeah. how much do you think all of this could I reckon for? you've got a good five grand here. What? Yeah. We're parting this car out, Rory. Yeah. No, we're not. Look, we've already started. Next thing on the list, we've obviously got the, uh, the quick lifts. Shall we raise the car up as high as we can go? We'll have a look at all the kind of wheels, brakes, all that kind of yeah. stuff. Have a little peek Make sure underneath. there's no damage under there. That's what we want to there's, say. There already is a little oh. bit of damage, yeah. But okay. we'll get onto that. Let's lift the car up and have a look. Okay. Right, so this very handy piece of equipment is a quick lift from equipment for garages. That's equipment for garages. And if you want to get one of these, they're about 1,200 quid. Use the promo code AUTOALEX and you will get some free hydraulic oil for your equipment for garage quick lift. They're very, very useful. I need one. Everything is complete here. This looks quite strange. And well. this is a lot of money is it? worth here. Okay. If, if you, you know, plan B had to strip this car, steering rack, people ask up to five grand for these. You've got this is all part of your uh, brake ABS, system. Yeah. They are super, super rare. I actually sold one of them for two grand. <laughs> This, this is complete. Yeah, yeah. Okay, This nice. is nice, you've got your paint sticker here, it's the correct color. Oh, so this is not concerning and it all looks straight. All right, we've got obviously some grills missing here. Yeah. Uh, we've got though, a nice brand new radiator on this side. That looks lovely and clean, good. isn't it? Yeah, uh, it's obviously been replaced. Whereas on my side, the uh, radiator here is, is cream crackered. I, when I was actually at Harley's place a few days ago, I actually pulled the whole bottom row off. I mean, it is toast. How much is one of those? I, I, do you know, I don't know. I think they're quite rare. I know uh, Tavares was also um, trying to find radiators for his 430 and they're pretty much the same. Okay. Um, I should probably uh, bank on a grand for that. Yeah, well, we might find a grand hidden in the car, so we'll be all right. Okay, all yeah. right, nice. All right, let's go underneath. All right. First of all, it's pretty straight. I think you've got under trays missing and you've got all this uh, air conditioning pipes, that's all hanging down, but that's that panel I showed you in the, uh, in yeah. the other room. Are these adjustable coilovers? Yep. Wow. Brake and system. How are the brakes? What are these, four pots? These are four pots, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so they're not too bad. And again, they're not too expensive to work on. So you look in here, you can see that gearbox, right? It should be central to this. Yes. It's right over there, isn't it? Yeah. And then the other thing I noticed when we, when we jacked it all up is all of this. This is hanging down. Now this is the kind of mount that you can feel should be bolted up in there. Yeah. It just needs a little wiggle around, I think. Okay. So no real nasty surprises as of yet? No, actually, as a car, it's pretty complete. The challenge is going to be making it run. <laughs> which, putting it together. which we're going to attempt to do. Okay, uh, so the big unknown is obviously the engine, right? The engine and gearbox, getting it all running. We've got the drive shafts disconnected, everything like that. This is where the money is right here. Yes. You've got all the bits to put this together to make it look half decent. And then it's a bit of elbow, elbow grease, um, cleaning it all up. If you're really lucky and we can get it working, yeah, yeah it could be pretty cheap. Should we? Attempt to start the Ferrari for the first time, I think, in 19 years. Right, so before we try and fire this thing up, uh, Scott is going to have a quick check of the belts, but you've just found something, haven't you? Yeah, so we've taken the seat out. I found this under the seat. This is a box from Ferrari. I can see these straight away, right? Are these? Oh, they're fobs. These oh. are your, your Ferrari key fobs. This, this, is worth, like... this is worth a... Is it? Good money. Is oh, that yeah. uncut as well? That... Oh, it's cut. Is that for your car, though? We'll find out in a we second. We will find out. That's, that's exciting. That's pretty impressive. There's something else in there, isn't it? Oh. I better not show this on camera, but no. that's that's a chassis number there. Yeah. And that will be a code to program these. Oh. That's probably worth quite a bit of money. I like how it's literally any anything on a Ferrari. Like, that's probably worth quite a bit of money. Uh, I just oh, how on a we're going to find out if that is your uh, chassis number, because we can check on, on the top of the uh, steering column there. Um, I think it must be. That's brand new. We're no. gonna we're gonna look up that part number, and we're gonna find out how much Ferrari would charge for that. This is the remote kit. Yeah. For UK cars only. Okay. okay. How much do you think for those three fobs? I'm gonna say three hundred quid for three fobs. Hundred hundred. Close. Quid close. A little bit higher. Four hundred. Higher. Five hundred. Five hundred and fifteen quid for those three fobs. Oh, and oh, here's here's a nice thing about this. I didn't actually tell you guys. 
These fobs were exactly the same on a Ford. Obviously, this is a little bit kind of sketchy what we were about to do, trying to start this car with belts that are potentially at least 19 years old, yeah? Um, All in the name of science. He who dares, Rodney, yeah? Exactly, he, he who dares. dares. All right, so what we've got here is, it's a little bit difficult to check them because you've got two covers for your left and your right bank and the belts are obviously behind it. I can see the belt there and I can tell you that's got perfect tension on it. This one is a little bit more tricky to get to, so I put my hand behind it. And again, that's really good, yeah. really, really good. There's one thing that I have discovered looking around in here that is potentially gonna be a bit of a problem for us. Okay. And it's down here. Mm -hmm. So this is a fuel safety cutoff switch, an inertia switch, okay? So when the car is in an accident, this will pop, okay? And you ah. won't be able to run the engine yeah. until you reset it, which is normally no problem at all. But this looks like we have got the bit missing. Ooh, we got something in here. Is it? Oh, we got a Ferrari owners club sticker, oh, mate. Oh, really? You're in the club now. Oh, perfect. Look at that. There we go. Uh, right, shall we hook the battery up? Hook the battery up, yeah. I'll, I'll let you do the honors now. Oh, fantastic. I do want to just test this. Bloody oh. hell. Oh, we have lights. Uh, we also have a second key that works, <laughs> and those fobs were made for this car because <gasps> the, the chassis number matches. Oh, so the key works? Key works. Yeah. So that is your uh, fuel pump. Fuel pump. Yeah. No, that is your F1 pump. Oh, okay. The back. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Aircon. Yeah. <laughs> Which is probably being pumped out on the floor. We have got no fuel here. Yeah. At all. Um, and in the middle, we should have like a, a, a gear selection oh. light. That's that's cool. That means it, it's primed itself. Yeah. yeah. And there's a, a, a vessel in there. It needs to get up to kind of uh, its pressure. Yeah. And that's a good sign. Let's go in the game though. That's not a good sign. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, this is pretty cool, but we have got no selection of our gears. Now I think that could be because we've got a lot of cables unplugged back there. All right. Should I start filling up with fuel? Right. Come on, Stavros. Drink, my pretty. Now there's one thing I forgot, Alex. Yeah. Really, we, we should make it official. You know, you've joined the club now, dude. You know, me and Freddie, when Matt got his 430, we yeah. did this to Matt now. Oh, thank you. It's yours there, mate. Yeah. Wait, wait, we've got to do it. Yeah. Well, welcome. Well, thank you. Welcome to the club. Thank you very much. Shall we? Three, two, one. So we've run a little bit through. Should I just quickly go and get another 10 litres? I think so. I've got some Red X as well. I might just throw that in there. All right. I'll yeah, get 10 just... litres. We'll dump it in and then we'll, we'll see. No. I don't know if the fuel pump's working. First time working on a Ferrari. We have pressure. Fuel coming out. There is fuel there. Right, should we just crank it over and then see if it so pisses? Let's, let's... <clears throat> Let's do that. Nothing came out. So we've got... Yeah, that's there. good. We've got fuel going to one bank. But it should still be able to ignite on one bank. Though. Yeah. Uh, wait one second, I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to hold this thing down as well. Yeah. Should we have a look through all those fuses? Just quickly pull them out and have a, have a quick Yeah, because we're still not hearing a fuel pump though. I think we're good now. I think we're good. What, do what? With I've the... found a rubber cover and it seems to be down now. What, just with a rubber cover? I don't know. I think the battery's a bit unhappy. Yeah. There you go. Right, we are going to chuck on a new UASA battery and see if this thing will start. If it does start, it's all thanks to the UASA battery. I'm calling it now. <laughs> you said it started when you sprayed. It kind of, yeah. We would. I mean, Coughing, spluttering. It was spluttering, yeah. Should we give her give her a little spray up the nose? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! It 
It runs. <laughs> Kind of. <laughs> it sounds all right. It sounds kind of right. like almost yeah. there. Yeah. Almost there indeed, but almost obviously isn't good enough. So we unbolted the ECUs and sent them off to a good friend of Scott's to get them checked and reset. And so you join us a few days later with ECUs that would hopefully now do the trick. AV engineering, best in the business. Turn this round, literally, it was 24 hours. Got it. Straight into pen, he found a uh, bent pin on it. Yep. Flash the ECUs for us, got them back today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug them back in and then see if by magic there has been a cure and that this engine fires into life. If not, then we are M57 swapping it, right? Sure. Please, Stavros. Please, fingers crossed. Confidence is high. Okay, so the problem wasn't the ECUs, but a short time later, Taylor found some loose wires in the cabin. So we have a lot of lights. I've got a lot more lights now because I found a plug that was disconnected behind the F1 ECU. This end of it was tucked right back there and this end was sitting here. Well, if this starts, I'm going to be so happy. I'm going to be over the moon. Stop. I've got power in this pump. You have power in the oh, pump now? Okay, cool, cool, cool. <gasps> Shall I try it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dangles the carrot. <gasps> Pulls it away. But I do now have neutral light. I've got a lot more ignition lights. Okay, so so that, because that came from the F1 TCU, didn't it? That yeah. one, one end of that. So that's all to do with the pump over here. Lads. Yeah. I've just found another plug. I've just plugged it in. Where Where's that? This one here, it was tucked right behind this ECU. Well, the green and white one? Yeah. So it runs from that side that, to this side. That, that, you actually found that over yeah. there earlier and couldn't find it. And I found this end under here. Just so should away. I try it? Yeah. Mobiliser. Ready? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Whoa. Oh my God. Come on, Stavros! Getting better. Come on, Stavros. Come on. Come on, Stavros. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Bit Stavros lives. Bit of pedal, Time bit of pedal. Off. A little bit of pedal. I'm giving it some. <laughs> oh my God, Stavros lives. <laughs> Everybody, Stavros lives. Well, if that isn't proof enough that you guys need to subscribe to this channel to see more Shitbox Ferrari 360 videos and I don't know what is. Also, a massive thank you to Taylor for finding the wire. A massive thank you to Scott, AKA Ratarossa, for coming over and helping out as per usual. He's also got shit Ferraris. So if you want to see more of that, then subscribe to his channel as well. But for now, I said at the beginning of this video that we were going to end it with this thing firing up. And hey presto, Stavros now lives. So uh, yeah, thank you very much to everyone involved and we'll see you next week. One more thing. One last time. One last time. Shall we try one last time? One, well, sure. You've got the honors, mate. Oh, can I go? Oh, ready? Fire and hole.